This is my second presentation. It will be much shorter than the first one. I will talk about a really simple technique and uh, almost empiric technique to, to make better the visibility of uh, some kind of description. <coughs> So uh, the the technique uh, use uses three steps. First one is uh, uh, making a three dimensional modem by by photogrammetry. Second step is uh, consists in uh, transformations of this uh, this three dimensional uh, reconstruction into a digital elevation model, and the third. The third uh, step is uh, uh, the application of different kinds of filters uh, over this this digital elevation model. We we let's start to let's start with some basic concept. Uh, probably you already know it, but what is photogrammetry? Uh, by photogrammetry, we can get special 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 information uh, about objects from a set of, uh, of photographs mm -hmm. and uh, today the logical and most immediate consequence of this technique is the three-dimensional modeling thanks to the triangulation of a so-called po point cloud mm -hmm. and here we can we can see a normal point cloud of a structure with our rendering and this the last pass of photogrammetry reconstruction is the, the, the rendering this is a, a think, think about the fact that this, this degree of detail is from a low-end phone. This is an emperor, uh, boast of an emperor conserved in the National Museum of Roman Art in Madrid. And so today technology can, can, uh, can do such things even with, with, with a low-end phone. Uh, the second step uh, is, the, is the transformation in a digital elevation model. Uh, the digital elevation model is a concept uh, of uh, the geographical information system. Maybe with uh, this you two have, uh, have touched, this, have touched this, this concept before. And uh, um, digital elevation models is a three-dimensional representation of a, of a surface, of a terrain surface. And what it makes it interesting is the fact that uh, even if it stores the three-dimensional model, mm, a three-dimensional model, it stores it in a b-dimensional image. Mm. Uh, it's, a, it's a grid in which every resolution square is colored according to its height. Mm. It's, a, it's, a, it's used, normally used in geographical information system. So let's uh, see a couple of uh, cases, cases of study. The first one uh, is uh, both are from Barcelona. The first one is an inscription, an ugly inscription. It's more a, a, a mark, a stone mark that you can uh, see in next to the cathedral. If you if you know Barcelona, you go. You take uh, Carrer del Bisbe, Bisbe Street, next to the cathedral. You you are passing through the Roman gateway uh, of the of the Roman of the Barcino, mm, the colony, of the Roman colony, and you are passing through the the, the principal uh, corridor. On your right, you have this this, this mark. Uh, we can see here an, uh, an enlargement and. Uh, because of the, of, the, of the kind of stone, because the fact this inscription is located in a, in a place of transition um, since 2000 years, um, the, the stone is very damaged, it's very eroded. So, uh, an attempt to, to make a paper cast uh, that is a more traditional technique and uh, this uh, for for what I know this kind of paper Can be bought only in Germany and is expensive mm -hmm. But is the traditional in, in this case it didn't 
give good results. So we we try to apply this to apply this uh, this technique. The the first uh, image is the is a photograph, and the, the other two are uh, three dimensional model reconstructed and here uh, is transformed into a digital elevation model. These, these images are, are a sort of maps hmm, where uh, valleys are the, 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 the marks of uh, inscriptions. And in this case, uh, I didn't apply any, any complicated filter. They are just color filter. But we can, we can see that, for example, in the, in, the, in the first one, in the colored one, we can observe uh, even the small holes. If you look to this series of, all, of holes, there are the marks of the, of the punch with which this inscription was, was made. Right? And this uh, degree of detail that um, cannot be uh, reached with the traditional technique on this support. Uh, about the, the significance of this inscription, this, uh, of this uh, ugly inscription, uh, it's not, you, you see, it's not the typical Roman inscription, uh, even if it's a Roman one. Probably it's a mark, a stone mark, uh, of the Fort Legion. The Fort Legion uh, built a lot of things, a lot of infrastructures here around and probably built also Barcelona. This, uh, this uh, numeral four plus a vexillum, a banner of the army. Uh, and this is for uh, thanks to comparison. Second case, uh, second case much more um, more uh, Inscription better, better one. Uh, this was a really good inscription on a really good, on a really fine stone, but it was re reused and probably in part it was expressly um, deleted. So it's not so clear today. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's really complicated to, to interpret this, this text. So uh, the first pass is the three-dimensional uh, model. Some letters, some characters starts appearing, and this is the the, the digital elevation model. The first three image, this this one and this one are one more time uh, color filters, uh, and they enhance the the the. Uh, the view of the of the inscription, but the most interesting one is the last one. Since we have this digital elevation model that is basically used in the geographic information system, we can apply uh, algorithms typical of hydrological analysis, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, some mechanism that usually is, uh, is used in, uh, in geography but this is a colored version of the last of the last image and uh, I made two transcription the first one is the one that I can uh, read um, by simple color filtering and the second one this one is uh, the one I can read uh, thanks to the, the latter uh, filter and uh, the last line of the description um, it appears shows a P, a point, and an F. Uh, we, we have a P, Pius, Felix. Uh, it's it's the, the new lecture, the new, the new characters that are visible with this Ford filter. And thanks to this, we can, we can uh, make the hypothesis that it's an imperial inscription and uh, uh, making a query with this text over databases, we can say it's uh, between the third and the fourth century when they use such, uh, such, such expressions. So the three steps of the technique, of the really simple technique, I insist, photogrammetry, transformation into digital elevation model and application of uh, filters uh, normally used in geographical information system. Uh, by the way, the two interpretation I gave you about the inscription, they are uh, an, an, uh, 
epigraphy is much more trained than I agreed with this interpretation. This technique can lead to a useful interpretation. It was all. Thank you. Well, one. Well.